Question 29 from Sports Medicine. So question 29B this time we're looking at. And it's asked students to analyze the impact of climatic conditions on safe sport participation, and it's worth 12 marks. So obviously analyze being the key term, the impact of climatic conditions. And like our previous question, must be related to safe sports participation. So analyze the impact of climatic conditions on safe sport participation for 12 marks. We'll have a look at our syllabus. And what you'll notice here is that it's only one aspect of the syllabus. That is all students need to talk about. Environmental considerations, and it asks about climatic conditions. So they need to mention temperature, humidity, wind, rain, altitude, and pollution. And for each of those, they had to relate it back to how it promotes safe participation. So if the students had spoke about temperature regulation, um, then you would obviously get, get very minimal marks, if any, even though you had a good understanding of it, because you need to have an idea of where your syllabus is coming from. Same with the climatisation and guidelines for fluid intake. We're going to have a look at our sample answer. So we've got here, look, there are several climatic factors that could reduce the safety of an athlete and possibly lead to injury or illness. These conditions include temperature, humidity, pollution, altitude, wind and rain. As much as I don't like the English style introduction, he's got it out there, it's, it's not too bad. Um, and all the areas of the syllabus that are required are in there straight away. The difference I suppose here is that it's in a booklet so he can write as much as he like, time permitting. So he's not um, sort of restricted by the number of lines that have been allocated. But look, once he's gone through and he spoke about climatic conditions, straight away he talks about the first one being temperature. He's got examples to go through it. We go to our next page. Continues, you know, and it comes back to the question, talks about participation safely. Goes into humidity. Gives some information, and again, relates some examples in a marathon. And it, so he's gone through and spoke about humidity. He's given an example to support humidity, but what he's also done is then he's tied it back in to the question. This can lead to overheating, and as a result, is not very safe for participation. So that's talking about the issues that relate to it if it continues in that environment, being humidity. We go over the page, we've got pollution. Talks about, for example, the Beijing, Olymp the Beijing Olympics, which we spoke about in class, and I put pictures up on the PowerPoint, I remember that. So that's gonna have an impact on it. This is in, in very polluted areas. It is not safe for athletes to participate. Using words from the question, I can't get this point across enough, getting words from the question into your answer. We go down to altitude. Talks about altitude. Gives an understanding of what it's about. And again, talks about the impact it could have on people. There is no major safety concern when competing in altitude. However, it will take time for the athlete to adapt to the surroundings in order to complete fully. There we go. This one, we've got wind and rain. And then he gives a little conclusion. So look, if I'm going to pick it to pieces, it's a little bit of an English-style answer which we want to try and avoid, but I'm happy for us to sum up in the sense that he's talked about climatic conditions can have a major impact on safe participation. So if anything, with this little last paragraph here, we've covered all areas of the syllabus. He's reminding the marker that he's talking about safe participation. So it keeps continuing to be fresh in his mind. Uh, the concerns of this question for me was that students went ahead and just wrote straight as much as they could about the whole dot point, which I've showed you. So environmental considerations, knowing quite well that not all of it was required. Um, and again, the students confused the question. They spoke about the thermoregulation, which is not required. Um, having said all that, most students, I think, were still able to include at least some information from the correct dot point, whether they included all of it or some of it. Some needed a little bit more work to get all the little areas in, as mentioned up the top here, with temperature, humidity, pollution, altitude, wind and rain. Not all students were able to get all those in. Again, that's knowing your syllabus. There was a lack of examples from a number of students, which is a little bit disappointing. And as I've mentioned a couple of times already in this answer, you needed to relate it back to the question. The fact that it was related back to the question shows the marker that you knew exactly what was being asked in that question.